Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are going to start Memzayin on the base. I did the first year in 27 minutes. Do it again. Now that you said it once, you can do it 25. Tonar Abanan. Shachat Shnei Kvasim Al Arba Chalos. Vashar Nechalos Bepidion. Dalam Memzayin on the base. So what happened over here? You shach the two kvasim. Beautiful. That's what you're supposed to do. Doctor, you can't be tired. It's the uh, 8.30 daf now. Yishach <laughs> two kvasim, you look wide awake. Yishach two kvasim with four chalos instead of two chalos. So usually you're supposed to bring two kvasim with uh, two chalos. Now you bring two kvasim with four chalos. So you basically have two extra chalos over here for the kifse atzeres. Moshe shtayim and manifan. So you take two of them and you wave them. V'asha'ar ne'achalos b'pidion. And the other two now, you can redeem and you can eat them as non um, Shavuos food. Says Gemara, Mura Bana Kamei Rav Chista. Had de lo Karebi. This is not like Rebbe. Why de i Rebbe? Kevan de Amar Shchita Mekadsha de Parak Luhecha. According to Rebbe, if you say that the Shchita is Mekadesh stuff, so now when you shechted the Kvasim, you had four of them, so they all became Kadosh. If you say not like Rebbe, that the Zrika is Mekadesh, then there's nothing to talk about. Then you shechted, who cared that you shechted, you had four? You can do whatever you want with the four. Take the two, you take the two, and you're good to go. Shalom Yisrael. But now when you shechted it, they were all, quote-unquote, mikatsha. So now what do you do? Well, you could be podit. But how do you be podit, says a Gemara? Where are you going to be podit? Very interesting question. If you go out and you're podit outside of the Azara, now what's going to happen? The problem is you have four. Two of them, which you don't know which two, but two of them theoretically are kodesh, and two of them are, you don't want to be kodesh, you want to be able to eat them. So if you put everything outside the Azar, what's going to happen? Well, two of them for sure are supposed to be for the Kifse Atzeres. Two of them are supposed to be used for the Korban. But now you just brought the two, whichever the two end up being, you end up bringing the two outside of the Azar, and that's a problem. Even though you're going to be put, now you're going to solve being able to put the other ones, but now you have two Kifse Atzeres Chalas that are outside of the Azar, which is a problem. Iga Vain, if you put everything inside, then what are you going to end up with? Hamaya Chul and Lazara. You're going to end up now very nice. You're going to keep the two kifsei atzeres inside, the two chalos. But now the two that you're poda, you end up having non-kadosh stuff inside the azar, which is not allowed. It says, No, you're assuming that it can't just memela become. No. When you poda it inside the azara, you're not bringing. The isra is to bring chulin into the azara. When you're poda it inside the azara, you're not bringing chulin into the azara. What are you doing? It's just Memela becoming Chulin in the Azar. You didn't actually bring it. When it was in the Azar, it was all Kodesh. All four of them were Kodesh. When you're Poded in the Azar, it Memela becomes Chulin. But that's not a problem because, again, according to this, what the Gemara is saying is you can't bring Chulin into the Azar. But if it just becomes Chulin while it's in the Azar, how does that happen in this case, where you're Poded while it's in the Azar, then it'll be okay. That's what the Gemara says. What, what did he have to bring all four of? Why couldn't he just you don't have to bring all four, but he brought all four instead of two. When, when you're talking about taking them out to redeem them, why couldn't they leave two already inside? Because you don't know which two. At that point, he designates which two he's going to do. So it doesn't sound like he can... Uh, it sounds like they're all... They all have Kedusha Saguf. And therefore, before Kedusha Saguf, Rashi on the top right says, Moshe Eze Shtayim Sheyirtza. It sounds like you have to say whichever two are supposed to be should be, but it sounds like you can't do that before you uh, before before you go through the process. Says the Gemara, Amar le Ravina le Ravashi, six lines down, a memches. Vatanya kishu podane podane ala bachutz. But you just told me you have to do it inside, and then memela becomes kulin. It's not a problem. I'm not bringing kulin to the zar. But now it says that when you're podane, you do it outside. Havadi Rabbi Leizer Rabbi Shimon he the Rabbi ha iftzul he'll be yotzi. Right, this is not Rabbi because again, according to Rabbi, you would be podane inside because you can't bring the stuff outside. The other opinion would say no, it's not a problem to bring it outside because when you bring it outside, it. Uh, you're not going to be, uh, you're not going to be, it's not a problem of, of, of bringing the, uh, the Kodesh outside, seemingly because he would hold that it's not Kodesh until you uh, do the Zrika. So, according to what you said, bring it outside, it's Asir to put it inside? According to what it says, you bring Pod outside, seemingly you couldn't be Pod inside, yeah. Because he would hold that when you're Pod inside, the Chulin is Chal, right. Yeah. 
And the one who says put it outside, and the other one who the one who says put it inside said you can't bring it outside because Mela, you're bringing the kodesh outside. Amalei Ravacha braid the Rav Lorvashi lema to tiyufta the Rabbi Yochanan miha. So we have a tiyufta from this brisa from Rabbi Yochanan. Did my what did Rabbi Yochanan say? Toda sheshachta al shmonim chalos. Now instead of bringing forty chalos with your toda, you brought eighty. Chizkiyam our kitcher rabbi mitoch shmonim. Forty of them become kodesh, which is what we just said. Two of the four become kodesh. The other two could be part of. Forty of the eighty become kadosh, and the other forty you can get rid of. Rabbi Yochanan our lo kitcher rabbi mitoch shmonim. He says none of them. So it would be the equivalent of our case over here where you have four breads for the two. If you have 80 for the toda, if none of them become kadosh, then seemingly you can't use any of these four. Why do you say you can use two of them and be poda two of them? Says the Gemara, V'lami yidmar lam rabbi zera komodim hechadamar liktushu arbaim mitoch shmonim dekatcha. Hachanami domar liktushu tarti mitoch arba. No, same thing over here. He's going to tell you that no. The case over here where we say you can use two of them is where you say with your mouth, two of them should be kadosh mitoch arba. As opposed to where you don't say anything, then ain't a chanami, none of them can be kadosh. But when you say two of them can be kadosh mitoch arba, and 40 should be kadosh mitoch shmonim, then everybody would agree that those 40 are kadosh. Okay, Tani Rabbi Chanina, Tirta Kameh Rabbi Yochanan. Shachan arba kvasam al beis chalas. Now you have the opposite. Now you don't have two chalas, now you don't have four chalas with two kvasim. Now you have four kvasim with two chalas. So you have the right amount of chala, you don't have the right amount of kvasim. Moshe Shnaim and Vizorik Daman Shalolishman, Shimata Omer, Shim Imata Omer Kach, Hifsar Tesachronim. So, what's the case here? You shechted four kvasim with two chalos. So now you, you go ahead and you zorik what? Well, we don't know what to do now. Are you going to go ahead and can you use, you can't use all four of them for the Kifsi Atzeres, you only need two Kifsi Atzeres. So, you go ahead and you throw, if you only throw two of them, Lishma, then what's going to happen? The other two basically have to go in the garbage. But he's saying what you can do is you can throw the first two of them for a shlamim. You could do this rika on the first two for a shlamim, which will enable you to eat them. Then you do this rika on the last two for the shavuos, for the kifse atzeres, and then you're good to go, and you haven't wasted anything. Because if you don't say so, i.e., if you do the zrika for the first two of the kifse atzeres, now you're stuck. Why? Look at Rashi, to the right, like ten lines down. Hifsates achronim, kidamar le'el. What do you have here? You have four kifsets errors. We have two, you have two pairs of two. So now I did the shrit on all of them. I have two bowls of blood. One of them I want to use for the kifsets errors to be able to say with those two chalas. And the other one is just extra blood. If I throw the extra blood first and I say it's just l'shem shlamim, then I'm fine. I did l'shem shlamim. It was as if I shechted these two l'shem shlamim. Since I did this rikol l'shem shlamim, I can eat them and enjoy them. Then I take these, I take this bowl, I do it l'shem kifse atzeres, and now I'm good to go. I was yotze everything. If I throw first these for kifse atzeres, now I'm stuck with this one because at the time that I throw this for kifse atzeres, this was fit for kifse atzeres. And when I do something lishma, when this was fit to be used lishma, then it ruins it. In the first case, I did a shlamim. I didn't actually do something that was for the atzeres and then leave one hanging. In the second case, where I did one for the atzeres and I leave the other one hanging, that was supposed to be for the atzeres. Now I left it hanging. Now it's garbage. If I do the first one for the shlamim, then I can do the second one for the atzeres. That's what Rashi says. In this first pshat, then he has another pshat. Says the Gemara. Amar lo Rabbi Yochanan. So Rabbi Yochanan says, "V'chi Omer lo la Adam Amod v'chatei b'shvil shetiske." I understand. We don't usually say that you can do a sin in order to go ahead and be zocher. What does that mean? What's the sin here? What sin are you doing? When you're standing here with the two bowls, you're about to do what? They're really supposed to both be used for atzeres, but you can't. So you do a sin by throwing the first blood shelo lishma. Stam as a shlamim, but we're looking at it as a sin because you're throwing it shalol lishma of what it was supposed to be. So you're going shalol lishma in order to be able to save everything and eat that and eat that. You don't usually do a chay to be able to save everything, right? Because again, if we would throw it what we're supposed to do, which is lishma, the evil. we're going to end up ruining it. Well, no, the lesser evil, well, it's not an evil to, to waste it. Theoretically, it's an evil to waste it, but the Gemara is not right. The Gemara is saying that it's not really an evil to waste it. The Gemara is saying, really, you should be able to do, you should really do the, the Lishma one, and then these two extra ones are garbage. 
When we're saying we're going to do a quote unquote a chait, should be the worst thing you do, but it's a quote, a chait, where you sprinkle the shalolishma in order to save these ones, because if you had done it the other way, you would have ruined everything. The overall arching set is shlomim. It's all shlomim. It's, it's not a chait when you look at the whole category, which is shlomim. Right, they're all four the point, the, the point is that, the, 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 that's not the point. The point is that Gemara is saying that you're doing a chait, that you're doing zrika shalol lishma. Right? Shalol lishma. You're not supposed to switch. Usually it was, it was supposed to be for a, it was supposed to be for a, uh, It was all the families, same family, that's what I'm saying. In Achanami, but it was supposed so, to be, so. it was supposed to be lishma of the shlamim for a, uh, the same. Yeah. It was supposed to be a shlamim for the Atzeres. Yeah. Says a Gemara, do we usually tell somebody that you can do something that you're not supposed to do so that you can have a little chus What happens if you have a vari chata shenis arvu be a vari ola? The varim of a chata, interestingly, are eaten by a kohen. The vari ola are burned. So now you're stuck because you have a varim chata mixed with, with a vari ola. You have to burn the ola ones. You have to eat the chata ones. You clearly can't eat any of them because some of them have to be burned. But what happens if you burn all them? If you burn all them, then you're burning chattas ones that are supposed to be eaten. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Lezer Mer Yidnu Lamala Veroanias Besar Chattas Lamala Keilu He Eats Him. So Rabbi says, What do you do? You can be, quote unquote, what can you do? You can save it, because basically, if you throw everything out, then you haven't gotten either mitzvah. Then you haven't eaten the chattas, and you haven't burned the ola. So now what do you do? You can burn the ola, you can burn the entire pile. Now you have the ola burning, and you can say, quote unquote, that the chattas ones, which are supposed to be eaten, are being used as fuel for the ola. But now I was yot say the mitzvah of burning the ola ivarim. The chachamim obrim, and the chachamim say to over to rasim v'yatzul beis hashvefer. No, we can't burn the whole thing because you can't burn chattas ones. That's a sin. Therefore, you have to let everything have lina overnight, and then you have to burn everything outside of the beis hamikdash. Says the Gemara, Amai, according to the Chachamim, Lema Amod Vachate Bishvil Shetiske. Why don't we burn the Chattas one illegally so that we can at least be Zocha and have been Yotze burning the Ola? According to what you're just saying, you should do something wrong, i.e., burn the Chattas ones to at least save the Ola ones. Just like over here, again, we went ahead and we did what? Just like over here, we threw the blood Shalolishma to be able to save everything and be able to eat everything. So over here as well, we should throw the chattas onto the thing, even though that's not the right thing to do with it, should really be given to the kohenim to eat, should throw the chattas onto the fire, the evari chattas, in order to at least be yotze. Now, the evari ola that were mixed inside, we did what we were supposed to do with them, we burnt them on the mizbeach. Says the Gemara, this is what you were alluding to, amod vachate bechatas, bishvil shetiske bechatas amrinan. Amod vachate bechatas, bishvil shetiske beola, lo amrinan. And when it's the same korban, you can do it, which is why what you were saying is true. But if you go ahead, so you can shlamim shlamim, you can go ahead and you can do something illegal with the shlamim, should throw it shalol lishma, because after all, it's also a shlamim. So you can throw the shlamim shalol lishma in order to have the other shlamim, the kifts at saras, and everything is a shlamim. But over here where there's a chattas and an ola, we don't start mixed marriages, and we don't start saying we're going to ruin the chattas in order to save the ola. So that's one thing. So we do say that we ruin certain things, amod v'achate, to save other things, but only when it's the same korban, the same family. Says the Gemara, a lot of uh, hashkafa here. Says the Gemara, uvechad amyelsa miyamar, do we say the same thing with one? Do we really say that we save one within one? That we'll save a chattas, we'll do a chattas shalol lishma, a shlam and shalol lishma, to save another shlamim. V'hatan yekif se'atzer shashachtu shalol lishma, these ones that are shachtas shalosh mal shachtam bein lifnei zmanam bein lachar zmanan, or you shachtam lishma, but you shachtam before shavuos or after shavuos. Hadam yizrok v'abbas or yochal. What's this going on? So you're not yotze if you shachtam. Let's just concentrate on shalosh lishma. You shachtam shalosh lishma. You're not yotze, but you can eat the meat. So you shachtam shalosh lishma. You could still do the zrika so that you could eat the meat. Vimahaisa shabbos. Lo Yizrok. That seems to be also that you're doing a chait in order to be able to eat the meat. You're throwing it, even though you're not yotze the shechita, you're throwing it so you can eat the meat. Vim ha'isa Shabbos. If you shecht it, if you shecht a, 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 a kifse atzeres shalol lishma on Shabbos. Lo Yizrok. I can't throw it. It's what? No, we're not talking about that. Rashi has different opinions. We've shown him have different opinions. We're just going to stick with the first case. Rashi talks about the second case, but it's complicated. 
It could be either one, but we're going to stick with the first part. Yishachted a kifzei atzeres shelo lishma on Shabbos. So what happened? Lo yizrok. You can't do the zrik on Shabbos. Why not? What's the problem with doing zrik on Shabbos? New. What's the problem with doing the zrik on Shabbos? Problem with zrik on Shabbos is that if you're not yotze the kifzei atzeres, you can only do an avod on Shabbos if it's for a korban tzibur. But once you weren't yotze the kifzei atzeres. Once you did it wrong, Shalol Lishma, you can't do any avod, even though you're not doing a malacha duraisa, it's only a shvus. You can't do zrika on Shabbos. The shvus, the rabbanon say you can't do any avod on Shabbos unless it's for a korban tzibor. So you can't do a shvus, you can't do the zrika on Shabbos. Therefore, what? Lo yizrok v'im zarak b'diyevet hurts a lahak to your lera. But if you did what you weren't supposed to do and you did the zrika on Shabbos, since it's only a shvus, you ended up doing the wrong thing. But then you can burn what? You can burn the emora in that night. Otherwise, if you didn't do the Zerika that day, you can't burn the Amur in that night, because unless you do the Zerika on the day of, you can't burn the Amur in that night. Now, what's the Gemara's question going to be? The Gemara's question is, I don't understand. You're telling me, Lichat I shouldn't do the Zerika during the day, because it's not a Korban Tzibar, I can't do the Zerika during the day. Amod Vachate, do a little bit of a sin, do the Zerika on Shabbos Lichat so that you can do the Mitzvah at night of burning the Amur in La'erev. Why don't we say that? It's all the same thing. It's all the same shlamim. You're burning the shlamim zemor in a night. You're doing the zrika of the shlamim during the day. You just said, we do a little bit of a sin. No, no, a little sin once in a while. We do a little sin in order to be able to do another mitzvah. So go ahead, lechachila. We said, bidi yevit, if you do it, you can throw it at night. But you, you, can, you can put the emor on, on, on the fire. Do a little bit of a, a small sin. It's only a shvus. Do a little small sin of doing the zrika during the day of Shabbos which is a non-korban tzibor. So you can go ahead, and on that same korban, you can burn the emorim that night. You're talking about burning it on Motzei Shabbos? You're burning it on Motzei Shabbos. You always burn it on Motzei Shabbos. You're making for Achor Shabbos. But what? Yeah. You're not being making. You're doing what you're supposed you're to do. In making. general, what? Huh? In general, for, for a regular korban tzibor, no, the point is that if you don't do this weekend during the day, you can't burn anything after night. That's fine if it's making. They're right. They're running. The point is that the point is that on a regular korban tzibur, you're always mechin. Yeah. Regular korban tzibur, you're always going to be mechin on Shabbos. It's obviously not an yeah, issue you're, of, you're, you're, it's not an issue of a chana. It's not, it's not really a chana. You're not doing it for that purposes. It's just, it happens to be a prerequisite that if you didn't start. So over here, you're throwing it, Lamaisa, you're throwing it, so throw it on Shabbos, and then you'll be able to burn the thing after Shabbos. Why don't we say that? Says the Gemara, you're right. Same korbans, but needs to be same day as well. Says the Gemara, Amor chate b'shabbos, yishtiske b'shabbos amrinan. Amor chate b'shabbos, yishtiske b'chol lo amrinan. So we do korban to korban, Shabbos to Shabbos, but not korban to a different korban or Shabbos to chol. So again, we still do. Says the Gemara, Is it true that we have two different things, two different korbans, or two different days, you're not going to go ahead and say that you do a sin from one to the other, right? That's what we just established. You could do a sin from one to the other if it's the same korban or if it's the same day, or maybe and it's the same day. But you can't do a sin if there's two different things. If it's different korbanos or different days, you can't do a sin. Is that true? V'atnan, we said, Chavish al truma shenish shenish bira begad al yona uvitachtona chul and tamein. So what do you have here? You have truma wine on top, and you have chul and tamei wine on the bottom. Now chul and tamei wine in general can be drunk. Right, you can you're, you're allowed to drink it, and even a, even a person who's tower theoretically is allowed to drink it if they're not makbid. Right? If you're not makbid, certain people, Tahor people, are not so particular to eat Tahor, so they can go ahead and they can drink the Chul and Tameh. But Tahor Tameh, but Tatar, but Truma Tameh is gone. So what's going to happen here? If you let the Truma go down to the bottom, that, now what happens? Everything becomes, now the Truma Tahor becomes Tameh, everything mixes with Truma Tameh, and everything's puzzle. Everything's going to be a problem. But what's the option here? So let's see. Mode Rabbi Eliezer Rabbi Yeshua, Shim Yochol Ahatzil Mimena Revius Betara Yatzil. So as Rashi explains, what's the case here? I have the Truma Tahora on top, the Chul and Tami on the bottom. Right now the Chul and Tami can be eaten and the Truma Tahora can be eaten. But if they mix, never shall the two meet and everything becomes Tami. This is a liquid, right? It's liquid wine. So what do I have here? Right next to me, right next to me, I have a cup. Right next to me, I have that cup, a big cup. And theoretically, the problem is that cup is Tami. Maish was Tami, you touched it, that cup is Tami. So theoretically, I can use that cup to catch the truma tahora in the cup, and now it won't mix with the chulin. So now the chulin will stay fine, edible, and the truma I will be ruining as I catch it in the tamay cup. So I'm ruining the truma biyadayim, but I'm saving the chulin on the bottom. As opposed to what? I can let 
the truma go to the bottom. Now I'm ruining the truma anyway. The truma is becoming ruined anyway, as we'll see, that makes a difference. It's ruining in the cup, but it's going to be ruined anyway. But now I can run and get a tower vessel, and even if I can save a tiny bit of the truma before it falls in, I saved a little bit of truma from becoming tame. I'm not about to eat any of that stuff. The only thing I'll be left to eat would be this little bit of truma that's tower. But the point is, do I go ahead and do I catch and save the chul and tame? Or do I go ahead and run and get a tower vessel to be able to save even a little bit of the truma to hora? Says Igmar, it's obvious. What do you do? You run to go get the tower vessel. And even if you could save a little bit of the truma to hora, even if everything else gets ruined. Says Igmar, shim yachol atzamimena revias betariyatzel v'im lav. And if by the time you run home and get the truma, uh, by, by the time you run home and get the tahor vessel, the entire vat will be filled on the bottom and everything will be ruined. Then what? Rabbi Liezer Omer, then what do you do? Then, then you have no choice. Then you have to let it go by itself. Because if you would take Maisha's cup, then you're mamish being metame, that truma, with biyadayim, you're being metame it yourself. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Yeshua, no. Af yitmena biyad, no. What's the problem? Anyway, it's going to go down into the vat, as we'll see in a second. So what's the difference if it goes by itself, or you're metame biyad? But according to Rabbi Yeshua, what do you see? You see that I could be metame truma, in order to save chulin, two separate things. I can be metame the chuma by putting it into a tame vessel in order to save the chulin on the bottom. Says the Gemara, it's different. Shani hasam de la tuma ka'aza. You can't make a comparison because that case, it would have been tam, tame anyway. So what's the big deal if I make it tame two seconds earlier by catching it? Like, leave me alone. I'm making it tame two seconds earlier. I'm catching it and give me a break. At least I get to save my chulin on the bottom. As opposed to a regular case, I wouldn't be able to do that. You can't bring a proof. Usually I couldn't do that, but since it would have become tame anyway, because if I didn't do anything and I was passive, it would have become tame anyway by falling into the chulin. That's why in this specific case, I'm allowed to go ahead and do it, but there's no proof. Says Mark, Tani. which we're understanding as meaning shelo lishma. So I shacht the kifse atzeres shelo lishma. New thing. Psulin. It's pasul. It has to be lishma. Uta over tsurasan. That means the tsura has to change. It's it's make up has to change. I.e., you have to leave it overnight for lina. Viyatsula beis asrefer. Then you burn it. So again, kifze atzeres. What's that? What kind of what kind of korban is that? Shlamim. A shlamim shalol lishma is going to be pasul. Well, I thought only a chata shalol lishma is pasul. Amar of Nachman mar demakish lehu lechatas tani psulin. This mar holds that shal mechova. Have a hekesh tachatas because it says vasisem sirizim echad lechatas ushnei kvasim b'neishnal lezev ashlamim. If you make a hekesh from shlamim tachatas, that's why it's pasul. Tana de Levi de Gomer shalmei chova mishalmei nedava tani k'sherim shalmei nedava shalolishma. If you just bring a shlamim stam shalolishma, that's fine. After all, Nadava seemingly is just because because. So if you bring a Shami Nadava Shalolishma, they give it a Shami Nadava Shalolishma is kosher. Chata Shalolishma is pasal. How do you compare a Shalmei Chova, Shlamim that you have to bring, i.e. Kifse Atzeres? Do you compare it to a Chatas, and therefore Shalolishma is going to be pasal, that's the Tanakama? Or do you compare it to a Shlamei Nadava, in which case it will not be pasal because Shami Nadava doesn't have to be Lishma? That's the Machloka, says Rav Nachman. Ditani Levi, Usha'ar Shalmei Nazir, which is what? That's a Shalmei Chova. Sheshachtan shelo kimitzvah and shelo lishman. Skip the brackets. Nechalin liyom v'layla ve'in tuulin lo lechem v'lo zora. You see over here that what a shalmei chova. You're going to be. It's okay because at the end of the day shelo lishma is fine because you learn from a shalmei nedava. Says the Gemara Meisve, an asham which was required. There are certain ashams that you have to bring in their first year. You have to bring an animal within its first year. And certain ashams, it's important in general. Whenever we say ben shana, it doesn't mean one year old. It's like when we say birthdays, you're, you're, you're one year old, you're really in your second year. So the Shalmim, when it says the first year, it has to be within its first year, and two years means it has to be within its second year. So there's certain ashrams that have to be within the first year, they have to be between zero and one, and there's certain ashrams have to be between one and two. So asham ben shana, if you're supposed to bring an asham in its first year, vehevi ben shtayim, and you brought one that's in its second year, ben shtayim vehevi ben shana, if it's supposed to be in its second year and you brought in its first year, psulin. What does that seem like? That's like asham shalolishma. Asham shalolishma or asham in the wrong year. The wrong year is pasal. Utu veretzuras, and you have to let it go over. And I viyatsu lebeis hasreifa. So an asham, as we'll see, an asham is pasal if it's the wrong year. Aval olas nazir, ve olas yoledes, ve olas mitzvah, the ola that a nazir brings. 
or that a person that gave birth brings, or that a Mitzorah brings, Shahayu B'nei Shtei Shanim V'Shachta, when it's supposed to be a year, Ksherin. It's supposed to be a year, the Olas of these people, and it's Kasher. Why? Why by an Ola, if it's the wrong year, is a Kasher? By an Ashim, it's the right year, the wrong year, it's, it's, it's Pasol. Klal HaShadavar. Kola Kasher Be'olas Nidava, Kasher Be'olas Chova, because we compare an Olas... Chova to an olas nedava, and just like an ola that you bring out of your own accord, an olas nedava, if it's the wrong year, it's fine. V'chol apasul b'chatas, pasul b'ashem. What do you see here? Chutz mishelo lishma. We're going to make a hekesh between ashem and chatas. Now, we're not going to make the full hekesh. We're not going to say that the ashem needs to be lishma, but we're going to make a hekesh between chatas and ashem. So it sounds like it's similar, just like we made a hekesh between shlamim and chatas. We're going to make some type of hekesh, not a full hekesh, but we're going to make a hekesh between asham and chatas. So what do you see? You can make a, you can make a hekesh between asham and chatas. Hai tana, tana de Levi who This tana is the tana of Levi. Toshma. Says the Gemara. So again, you're going to make a you're going to make a hekesh between an asham and a chatas, and therefore, if it's the wrong year, it's going to be pasul. Tashma detani Levi. Asham nazir the asham mitzora sheshachtan shalolish mak sheirin. Again, we said the asham that you're making the 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 thing you're making between an asham and a chatas, you're making it only for the right year or the wrong year. If it's the wrong year, again, shlamim tachatas. If it's shalolish so the shlamim is going to be a problem based on this opinion because just like a chatas shalolish ma, a chatas is also what a chatas the wrong year. So a chatas a given is chatas wrong year or shalolish ma is pasul. We learn to a shlamim wrong year shalolish mas pasul. We learn to an asham wrong year is pasul. We don't learn that the shalolish mas pasul. Asham nazi rashi mitzar shachtan shalolish man k'sherin like we said. The lo alu lebalim l'shum chova. It's kosher, but it doesn't work that you were yotze the asham shachtan mechuser zman. If you shecht an asham nazi or an asham mitzar at the wrong time, it means you shecht it during the seven days of tara. What happens? Bebalim o shahayu b'nei shtei shanim v'shachtam sulim. If it's the wrong year. By a, uh, if it's the wrong year by an Asham Nazir, then it's going to be possible. That's exactly what we just said. We just said wrong year by Asham, we make the, we make the comparison to Chattas. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong Lishma by Asham, you don't make the comparison to Chattas. Vim Isa, and if this is true, Ligmar Mishlamim. So now the Gemara says, why are we not learning an Asham from a Shlamim? Right? We should learn an Asham from a Shlamim. Shlamim Mishlamim Gamar. Asham Mishlamim Lo Gamar. So we learn a shlamim from a shlamim. We don't learn an asham from a shlamim. Again, it came out that you learn a shlamim from a shlamim. You learn a shlamim from a chatas. You learn an asham from an asham and an asham from a chatas. You don't learn an asham from a shlamim. Says the Gemara, shlamim mishlamim gamar, asham mishlamim lo gamar. Vi gamar shlamim mishlamim ligmar nami asham yasham. Now the Gemara says, well, we don't really always learn an asham from an asham. Why don't we learn asham to asham? What does that mean? Asham nazi rajim misora me asham gzelos for asham meilos. We know that an Asham Nazir and an Asham Mitzorah and an Asham Gezelos and Asham Elos are different. O Asham Gezelos and Asham Elos me Asham Nazir and Asham Mitzorah. What do we know? We know that the Asham Gezelos and the Asham Elos are valid either during the first year or second year. But an Asham a Nazir and an Asham Mitzorah need to be the first year. So if you have one set of Ashams that are valid during the first year only, and another set of Ashams that are valid even during the second year, why don't we learn one to the other and say, well, we have some Ashams that are valid during this time, some Ashams that are valid during this time, so Ashams can be valid whenever they want, either the first year or second year. Says the Gemara, Amar of Simi Barashi, Donin Dover Shelo Behachshero, Mi Dover Shele Behachshero, Vein Donin Dover Shelo Behachshero, Mi Dover Shele Behachshero. As we always say, you always have to get the, the, the klalim. So the klal for the day is that you can learn something that's not proper from something that's not proper, but be the okay. And you can learn something that's not proper from something that's proper. What does that mean in English? That means we said that we can learn a shalme chova from a shalme nedava. That what? A shalme chova, which you do shalolishma, is improper. A shalme nedava that you do in the wrong year is improper. Therefore, we can learn a shalme chova of nazir, which was improper, from a shalme nedava, which was the wrong year, which is also improper. But the Eved, they're okay. But a nazir asham or a mitzora asham, which was the wrong year, which is improper, you cannot learn from an asham elos or an asham geneva, which is 
the right year. You brought the right year. You're supposed to bring it in the second year. Therefore, again, you can't learn a Nazir slash Mitzorah Asham from an Asham Elos and Asham Gezela. You have to look inside and you have to work through the math here, but that's what it comes out. But the general claw is you can learn something improper to something improper. It doesn't mean you should do it improper. But once you're doing something improper and be the evidence okay, then you can learn that just like this one was Yotze Shalol Shema, this one's Yotze Shalol Shema. Or just like this one was Yotze wrong year, but the this one would be Yotze, Yotze the wrong year, but the when you did it improper. But I can't learn that just like the Asham Elos and Asham Gezela was okay in the second year, I can't say, well, yeah, that was okay in the second year. That's what you're supposed to do. So therefore, these, the Asham Nazir, the Nazir Asham, and the Mitzvah Asham will be okay in the second year too. No, it's not what you're supposed to do. If you bring me a case, basically, in English, if you bring me a case where something was done improper, and you tell me, well, it was done improper, but the evidence was okay under these circumstances, and I can tell you, well, if I did it improper, then the evidence was okay under those circumstances as well. If I did something improper, I could learn from something else that was improper. But don't tell me, well, I can bring a proof that Bidyevet second year would be okay from that case. Can't bring a proof from that case. That case, you're supposed to bring a second year. So don't tell me that Bidyevet, if I brought the second year, then improperly, if I brought it improperly, I'm going to be Yotze anyway. It's ridiculous. So that's the point. If you could show me that in a case where you did something wrong, you were still Yotze Bidyevet, then I can prove that in another case where I did the same thing or something similar, I'll be Yotze Bidyevet as well. But in a case where I did something wrong and I wasn't, were, were, where, where I did something wrong and I want to be Yotze B'dieved, to say, well, I should be Yotze because over there, when I did the same thing, yeah, but over there, when you did it, it was proper. That's the basic point of the Gemara. Says Gemara, let's just end. What do you want to learn? You want to learn that if you take something out of the Azara, that you don't have to take it off, but you shouldn't put it on in the first place. Because where do you see? You see from Bama. What do you mean from Bama? From Bama, you're supposed to bring it outside of the base of Migdash. So how can you tell me that if I bring something, Bidyevet, if I'm Yotze, if I bring it outside of the temple, and then I bring it back and I want to put it on, look, I don't put it on, how can I say, well, obviously I can do it because you see by Bama I'm allowed to do that. Bama's a totally different case. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Says the Gemara, you're right. You don't learn improper from proper. But over there, there's a special exception. Tana, Azos, Taras, Ola, Reba, Samichle. There's a separate Gzeira. There's a separate posse that says, Zos, Taras, Ola, Torah, Chat, Lechol, Haolim, Sheimalu, Lo, Yardu. That we have a special pasuk that says that you can compare an Ola that went outside to the case of Obama. But Lechachile, if you didn't have that pasuk, you wouldn't say, well, by Obama, Yotze seems to be fine. Yeah, because by Obama, it specifically meant outside of the base of Migdash. That's why it's fine. But I couldn't say that, oh, Yotze was fine by Obama, and therefore, it's going to be fine over here as well. The only reason that it's okay, that again, if I take it outside of the Azara, Lechachile, I'm not Olu, I don't put it onto the Mizbeach, but Lechach, but, 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 but if I do, I can learn from the case of the Obama, not because I can learn improper from improper, because the case of the Obama wasn't improper. I can learn from Bama because I have a pasuk. Zos Tarasa Ola Tarachas Okay. Make sure to chazer. Have a good day.